What is up guys, Fluxed Edge, and today I'm bringing you part three on my Cyber Slums asset creation. So on this part, I'm gonna be showing you how I made these platforms. So this is gonna be a super easy tutorial. It's not gonna be anything advanced, but it is a little more advanced than the last couple. So to get started, we're gonna start with a cube. Turn my lines on, make this the general shape that I want it. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit C in my keyboard, go to polygon edit mode, grab the bottom, I'm gonna drag it in a little bit like this, and maybe even in a little like this to get this kind of nice shape, a little more. And I'm gonna drag it up, just to make it a little bit smaller. So next I'm gonna grab my point mode, UL to grab my rotation selection, and grab all these bottom corners. Then I'm gonna right click, bezel, oops, accidentally unselect everything, but after you have bevel selected, just drag out to however you want it. I'm gonna put it about there. Now you wanna click um, your polygon edit, select all, uh, hit shift, oops, and select the top because you don't wanna edit that part. For this, we're just doing the bottom. I'm not doing the top in this tutorial. I'll do that in another one. Um, just because it's all dependent on what you want. If you want something more detailed, it's it's better to do it a different way than this. So back into this, I'm gonna right click, extrude enter, make sure preserve groups isn't checked. And then I'm gonna click and drag, get it the width that I want. I'm gonna right click again while all that's selected and click extrude and drag inwards. And as you can see right here, we're having some issues with the texture or with the, the polygon. So I want to drag it into where it doesn't overlap like that. Otherwise it'll look really bad. And that's just not good practice to have overlapping polygons like that. Um, so now it all looks pretty uniform. Now, if you want this to look really, really uh, hard edged, you want to drag down your Fong angle. Your Fong tag is really important for this type of stuff, if, especially if you're using like low poly techniques. Um, I'm gonna turn off my line so you can see this better. Let me click off. So as you can see, all my edges are very, very hard and angular. Now if I turn this up, they begin to shade out and curve. So depending on the look you're going for, I'm going to keep it about there. And you can see it over here too. And it, it makes more sense when you have shaders on this. But anyways, so now that we have that, I'm going to turn my lines back on, click the just the inside one under here, right click. We wanna create a channel for these lights, so. Right click, extrude enter, bring this in just a bit. So now you have that channel for the lights and then extrude this out. I'm gonna bring that back. So now you have a nice channel. Right click, extrude enter again, and extrude. Just bring it where you want it. So now that we have that, I'm gonna go ahead and bevel this edge. So QL, rotation selection, click that, bevel, get the right view, kind of bring this up and inward, just to give it a nicer edge. And you can do this anywhere, but that's all I'm gonna do for now. UL again, click. Now I'm gonna make that my light. So you can go to selection and set selection, wherever it is. I'm gonna name this light. Create a new emissive material. Mission black body click surface brightness. Turn this down. We're going to leave it white. It's very, very dim. Turn path tracing on. Go on your post settings, enable these like normal, brighten it up a bit. 
Now I'm going to invert the selection and add a very, very simple glossy texture to this. Be creative. The more detail you have in your textures, the less um, bogged down your computer is going to be. Like everything, these bricks, this ground, it's all a texture. It's not geometry. And it adds way more detail than the scene than I have the resources to add geometry to the scene. So it makes a huge difference. As you can tell up here, more detail in a texture, the better it looks. But for the tutorial, I'm not doing that. I'm just uh, basic textures. Glossy, I'm gonna make it black, gray, somewhere in there. Apply it. So you can see it created another set tag. I'm gonna name this platform. Double click. I don't know what's going on there. Again. <clears throat> but anyways, now you've got this platform. And you can add more channels to any section that you want. So if I wanted a different color section, let me get off my rotation tool. On these, I could just click in it, extrude, enter, extrude. So I've created that channel again. Now I want to select the channel on each one. Now I want to hold control, duplicate this initiative material, and I'll change this to like an orange. Drag that on there. So now you have two emissive materials, two color textures. Just adds a little more detail to it. So now anything else you add is just going to continue that layer of detail. So in these, I had some like pipes with some brackets on them. So we'll do that. It's real easy. You just make a capsule, rotate it 90 degrees, holding shift will rotate in nine, uh, 10 degree increments. Gonna make this thinner, make it taller. A little bit more, actually. And then I'm going to bring up these height segments because I'm going to extrude some of the segments in a minute. So now I want to hit C on my keyboard, polygon mode, rotation selection, hold shift, click on these. Right click, extrude, just enough. Uh, go into your rotation selection again and hold shift and click on these areas to make the texture go all the way around. And then I'm going to make another material, make it metallic, go to the roughness channel, turn it up, make it kind of this aluminum style, and bring down the specular highlights. That's good. And once again, I'm just going to select, invert my selection to get the other part, and make that gloss black, or whatever color you want. So I'm going to drag this up till it's where I want it. That's good. I'm going to hold control and then click and then hold shift and I'll get 10 degree increments again. I'm going to move it over 40, control, click, then shift and it'll duplicate it. And then I'm going to let go of the mouse first to keep it there. If you let go of the control buttons first, I won't duplicate it. So now I've got this really, really basic platform from the bottom of um, the same style that I did here. So the top is just blank, 
And in another video, I will show you how to do um, panel style platforms and walls. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Once again, go to my Discord channel, join it, ask me questions there, request tutorials. I'm always posting the community feed whenever I've created something. So also this 8K uh, render is free on my website. You just go here, add it to cart, check out, download. It's totally free. You don't have to enter any credit card information or anything like that. So uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, remember, check out my other tutorials and thanks for watching.